Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use artificial intelligence to do programming on our computer. We're going to create code without having any knowledge in development. This video will mainly focus on using tools and code, specifically working with an extension called Klein. I'll show you how to install it on your machine. And most importantly, how to access AI models for free. This means we can either use it on our local machine or I'll show you how to get my key from Google. This key will allow me to use the Google model to run this machine and create websites and mobile applications. We'll go through this step by step from installation to deployment, creating files and even hosting our output, which means our results. If we're going to create a website, I'll show you how we can host it without typing a single line of code. Before we start the video, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Firas, I have a PhD in Artificial Intelligence, and I am a professor at the university. So if this is your first time watching my video, I invite you to subscribe here because I publish daily training, practical guides, and tutorials on the latest in artificial intelligence and digital marketing. And for those who are subscribed, I wanted to give them a little gift. It's exclusive access to my package of 100 courses. You'll find in the descriptions of this video the link to my e-learning platform with a special coupon. And that will give you access to 100 courses. So there are about more than 6,000 videos in various fields including marketing and artificial intelligence. So what are you waiting for to get started? And now, I wish you a great training. What is Klein? Here you have the option to check out the official Klein website. It's an extension that we install locally. It is capable of coding for us. It's a coding agent that can code and use our browser. It will execute step-by-step -step all our cache or our requests. And this is a project, in fact, today, as you can see here, a little preview. I type in my request and it will simply program for me. Then when I click on Olan, I can easily see the result of what it just developed. And this is a project. You can of course see a little bit of the different details of this project, which is a project that today uses several models. And it's free as well, which is very important. We have OpenChart GPT, Queen, Mistral, Meta, and even DeepSea, which includes Chart GPT. So what's the idea? It's very interesting to know that there's a new version that was just added today with new updates. These versions have the ability to give us a bit more models, and especially if I look at the different versions, here it gives us, for example, the O3 Mini, so I can also use it with the reasoning mode. There's also the option to add Gemini, which is a Google product. This Gemini 2.0 Flash is what we're going to test as well. There's also Flash Little One. These are two free models that I can use thanks to the ChargePT app, and also thanks to the Google app. This will simply allow me to start the development and you'll see that it's really a very, very powerful model. There's also the presence of DeepSeeker 1, which we can get with the free OpenRouter app. Today, we're just going to focus on creating a website easily, step by step, using free apps and this extension on a local machine. So, the first thing to do is simply install Visual Studio Code, which is a Microsoft product, you just need it to enter here and click on download. If you are using Mac, you will use this button there. Otherwise, you'll click on other platforms and choose whether it's for Windows or Linux, so you just select your operating system. Once it's installed, you'll see that you'll find this interface here. So here, I'm showing you. I'm on the eVisual interface. To launch it, I'll go to this part where the extensions are downloaded. Here I can download the extension and I'll simply type Klein, you'll find it here. When I click here, if it's your first time, you'll see a little install button here. For me, it's already installed and you need to check that you have the very latest version available. So this is a very, very simple installation. I use the auto update option to always keep the extension updated and properly installed to start working with it. The first thing to do is to click here to simply add a new folder where we'll be working on our project. So here I can create a new folder where we'll save all our files. Then I'll go to File and click on Open Folder. Here I'll simply create a new folder and we'll call it Website. So here we'll put all the information for our folder and I'll click Open. Now as you can see, it points to a new folder called Website. Everything we create together will be here. Great. 
Now we'll click on our extension here and you'll see that there's an option to choose the model. This is where I select my model. I click here and there are several models, but the one I'm interested in is Google Genie Me because I can integrate it with Lipsic, OpenAI and AWL. So there are several models here, but the one I want is Google Genie Me. Now it first asks me to enter the key. I can create the key for free by simply going to this website. It's Google AI Studio. Of course, you need to be logged in with your Gmail. You just type in Google, Google AI Studio, and you'll find yourself on this interface. I'm clicking here to create my key. So here, of course, I can put a project name if I want, or I can simply choose a project. For example, I can pick any project. It doesn't really matter. Once you've chosen the project, you'll click here to have it create a key for you, and you'll simply take that key, copy it, and paste it here for it to work. Once that's done, you'll see that you have several models available here. So the free ones that are the most used are Flash 001 and 2.0, Flash Light Preview 0205. Those are actually the two most used ones that are also free. So you can throw it out there and choose the one that interests you the most. So I'm taking that one. Now my system is ready. Final check to make sure that everything has been checked here to give Hackline all the permissions to manipulate these files. You can enable or disable notifications. I disabled them. For the maximum request, you set it to 20. That's a good number because we don't expect to exceed 20 requests. In a single plan, my system is ready. You have the option to switch between plan and action. The plan is, in a way, when you ask it to do something, it will start asking you questions to better understand your request. But if you choose action, that means you're simply giving it your plan and it will execute it without asking too many questions. Your prompt is sacred to it. It takes the prompt and it will simply refresh it and work on it. So here everything is ready. All that's left to do is to launch my first prompt to start creating, for example, a website or a mobile application. Let's go. So now we're going to enter our prompt. Here, we're going to ask it to create a simple HTML site. Okay, and it's going to create a form that calculates the calories we need based on a few parameters that we just provided. Now, I'll simply click here to launch my request and you'll see it will start creating. So here, it's defining the pages and I can perfectly see the creation of these pages in the console and you'll see that it's really very, very fast. In just a few minutes, I'll have the complete creation of a website, which generally, if I were to do it manually or if a human were to develop it, would take maybe one or two hours since it's something very simple. But you'll see that it's done really well. All that's left to do here, you'll see, is simply to click on run here to actually execute the creation and there you go so here i have the result it's right here i have my system that will calculate my calories we're just going to do a simple test like this let's see if it works or not for example we're going to input some data okay and there you go it calculates the exact calories and that's really really interesting it shows that the system works very well and that I can actually rely on this programming. Now what is left to do, I can simply go and see the file to show you in fact how I can upload it or put it to host online very quickly. So there I will simply go to my folder and I find there, there are three files that have just been created. So HTML script and style. Then so I will copy these files there. So there it is enough simply to copy them. And what I have to do, I have to go to my host. So for example, I work with Hostinger. So there it gives me the possibility of creating up to its website. But after, all depends on your host. So no matter the host, you will go create a new site inside your host and you will choose to download your code. So we're not going to use a CMS. We're just going to take a blank site because our system has created all the necessary files. So the site has just been created and it's asking me if I want to add a domain name. So if you want to directly give a domain name to your web application, website, or even your mobile application, you choose the name. Otherwise, I'm going to choose a free domain name. This will allow us to give a temporary domain. So the installation is happening very quickly. You'll see that now I will have the site ready to be used. What I need to do is go here to the file manager and there we will simply copy and paste the files that we generated together. 
it's here so there I'm just going to go and do the upload so I'm going to click on this part there to upload so he tells me to download in fact so we're simply going to select files directly so there I click I'm going to go directly to where I installed so my website is here and there I'm going to select so these files there and you're going to see that the three files have just been added now to test it's enough simply to actually visualize the website which is this one so there he gave me a free site it's this one we're simply going to try to access this address and there you go so there I tell him well I have to refresh so if that doesn't give anything in fact I think because here he told me not to upload here so there we're simply going to do so modify in fact these three files there the replacement so we have to it's pointing to public HTML so now we're going to do the process again for the second time there we go I'm going to click here and there you go I have the site up and running everything is working perfectly so you saw how I was able to generate code install it put it online and host it and now if I go back to my system here in Visual Studio I can obviously create all the pages I want for my website in a very very simple and free way with Studio with the client extension and with the S free Google API and now all that's left to do is simply to type in the next steps to develop your website so let me know in the comments here if you want us to create a mobile application together using Klein and the Google API. With this application, we can take a project and then host it on the App Store or Google Play Store, whether for Android or iOS. So you just write here mobile and I will try to make a mobile application for you in a separate video. Thank you for watching this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to write to me in the comments. I'm doing my best to answer all your questions. And if you like the video and want to see the upcoming updates, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you soon.